Hello. <laughs> hello, hello. Feeling any better today? No, I'm feeling worse. I'm feeling worse. Oh man. I haven't had like a sick day in work for like, like a proper sick day for like, I don't know, a few years at least. And I've had to have two in a row. I just feel like fucking terrible. <laughs> Absolutely dreadful. I woke up this morning. I was like, I can drive into work. And I, I sort of sat up and I was like, I can't drive into work. I can't do that at all. Oh man. Yeah, I've definitely got some sort of lurk. Oh, I always feel so guilty not, about not being able to work. I don't know. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. Especially when I'm supposed to be at work. Oh, it drives me out the bend. Oh, dear. Hey, Amon. Hey, everybody. You sound as bad as you. <coughs> Oh, at first I was jelly that I didn't get my uh, touch. I, I can get didn't get another tat done or something. With, or go with you, you know, like. But the idea of having this, the tooth and a tattoo at the same time, makes me want to cry. So probably for the best. I am dying a little bit. Yeah, I'm dying a little bit. I think it's a double whammy. I think it's the. I think the tooth made me like my immune system probably was a bit weaker. Um, and then I got some shitty cold at the same time, and I'm already pretty run down and. Uh, other stuff, you know. The blood loss on top is not the one. It really isn't. I've actually been, I was looking at tattoos today to see what I could get. I do want to get that sleeve done, but it's just two hours wouldn't be enough, and I need to really plan. I need to like speak to Jordan and plan it out a bit, you know. So I was thinking about what I can have on my other arm that matches my recent flower. Need to have a think about what I want. I was thinking about getting the Vampire the Masquerade Onk. I think that'd be quite nice. I think that'd be quite a good size for it as well. In that position. I think that'd be quite nice. The Thorny Rose and Skeleton King Shield. Which Skeleton King? The one from the anime? She said start with two hours and build it up. Well, you mean just do that? Yeah. Problem is, I need, do I need to speak with her first, really, to sort of make sure I can, we can get what we want? Probably. I need to email her first, really. You got your first tattoo this summer. D did you enjoy the experience, Vitavo? I love getting them done. I'm on, like, shit. Five, six? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six. Oh, Skeleton Knight from Berserk. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you, sorry, I'm with you. Yeah, I was thinking about getting a second Berserk one, but... But I thought getting, maybe the Ankh would be nice. The, the alternative is, I would love to, I would love to get... Um... Zook, Zook. Oh, did I leave myself in here? Thank you. Yeah, you let yourself in here, just letting you know. Thank Have you, appreciate it. Please. Later. Zug, zug. Um, but I was thinking about getting, like, for sleeve idea, I was thinking about having a Junji Ito uh, sleeve on one side, on the right, and an American McGee's Alice on the other, like, with Alice's, like, face, or Alice's, like, Alice's, like, face, hair, and, like, I don't know, something else? I want something like that. I'd love to, I'd love to have an Alice one, you know? That's what I think I might do first, is Alice's one. So I need to speak to my artist, Jordan, and uh, sort of see what I can do. That'd be fun. Hellstar Ramina is fucking... That'd be a really awesome one, but... Do you know, if I wasn't to get anything, Kane, it'd be the it'd be the spread of... You know where Remina's in the sky, and the other Remina, the human Remina's, like, on the cross? That'd be a fucking badass tattoo. Yeah. Book a consultation they do on Thursday afternoons. I'll come with you. We can touch each other. Oh, nice. 
Sounds fucking hot. Go after work or something. <coughs> I like it. Can you help me? Can you help me? We'll suss out a tattoo idea. When I'm in next week and we can have a look. So I've got some ideas what I want, but it'd be good to have another pair of eyes. Yeah, the the cross with um, Remino above would be amazing, but you need a lot of room for that. That'd be a whole back piece. It would have to be like a whole back piece. That'd be huge. Yours was kind of a big one, over five hours, over two sessions. You gotta say I was feeling ill after the second. <laughs> Mate, sometimes tattoos are absolutely fine, and other times tattoos will make you feel like absolute dog shit. They'll make you feel like absolute trash. I've had tattoos where I felt fine. I've had tattoos where I've just gone like, oh my god, I've lost like three pints of blood or something and I'm gonna die. My last one I had... Oh, for fuck's sake, everything is now running on the wrong monitor. I don't know why. I think I blame Silent Hill. Ever since I installed that, it's all been doing it. Sorry, I can't see what anyone's saying at the moment. There we go, now it's back to the correct monitor. Which is resized to my other monitor. Thanks. Yeah, I don't need to go get tea today, because I already had a cup of tea, and I had to have it lukewarm, and I shouldn't have another one. So... Don't cough on them. Yeah, you're not allowed to cough on them, right? That's illegal. You lost so much blood yesterday, you're out of it. That was me when I went to go get my flower, mate. I, I, I literally was, like, dripping blood in the shop. We were going- we, we left the tattoo parlor, me and Cancel Leo. Um... And with another friend, and we were, we were in a gun shop, and I was literally in there, and I was just like, what's running down my arm? And my, my tattoo was just pissing blood, and I was like, ugh. So I mopped it up while I could, and then I went, we went to the uh, game shop, like a couple of shops over, and I, I went in there, I was like, sorry, I was like, do you guys have any tissue? And they were like, yeah, yeah, and they just gave me this massive wad of tissue, because I was just running down my arm completely. And I did that for hours. So by the time I got, and I couldn't even go straight home. I was halfway home and fucking work called me. Work called me and they were like, uh, we got something urgent coming in. So on my day off, after getting a tattoo, I had to drive to work and spend an hour and a half at work, like trying to sort something out. And I was just so, so done. You were saying yesterday you looked very over it. Oh, were you talking to Jordan about that? Were you? <laughs> You said I was scowling or something, right? I don't remember doing that. I don't remember scowling. I must I must have been there, because I, I was in pain. It wasn't terrible, but... It wasn't terrible or anything, but I was definitely in pain. <laughs> Lewd. Psycho Sheepy, that's very kind of you. Thank you for the sub. I hope you enjoy our vast collection of, like, horribly degenerate emotes that we have. Thank you very much. You're laughing at Carl Moore. To be fair, yeah, it's, it's not like I, I tapped out or anything. I was just scowling, I guess. I didn't even think I was, though. I think I was just concentrating, and I didn't realise I was scowling. I was just sort of focused. It's also because I was in an uncomfortable position, because I had my arm behind me for, like, an hour and a half. You know, it was a bit, like, it was just a bit stiff. Right. Resting tattoo face, literally. You've been lurking here tonight, it's fun times. Well, thank you, Psycho Sheepy. Well, I appreciate the lurk as well. It's nice, nice of you to sub. <coughs> right, we did that, didn't we? So, what do we actually- what have we got now? We got the gate key at Jack's- so, is there a gate here we can open? Have a look. Where's my- what's the map button? I completely forgot what the map button is. Up. Up. Is there a gate- oh, sorry. Let's not smack Maria. Is there a gate around here? Ah. There we go. Here are mugs. Hmm. So that's what it was for. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Where to now? Just down this way. <laughs> Isn't this some is this the house where Maria's story takes place? In her DLC? I wanna say it is. Morgs, have you done the Archon quest yet? I did it earlier. It was quite the experience. I really enjoyed it. Well, I enjoyed part two, I should say. Part one was a bit of a mess. You decide tattoo might not be that painful. You can tolerate electrolysis where you get a needle stuck in me. You can get shot. 
I don't think tattoo is painful per se. I don't think that's the right word for it. I'd say it's consistent. It's a consistent thing. You have ouchy bits, sure, but like, you know, it's fine. But like, it's consistent. Let's go down. Let's go down the wrong way first and see what we can find. Hi, right, Colin. You haven't even touched it yet. No. James. It's decent. Mm -hmm. Three years. That's a long time. What will you tell her if, when you find her? That I love her. Oh, then. Lucky her. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Like I said, three years is a long time. Fuck this car. Oh, oh sorry. Me. Sorry, Mary. But over it was fine. It didn't hurt nearly as much as you thought it was gonna. It was the shading. Oh yeah, yeah. Shading is impressive. I got when I got my Malkavian one done. It was like two and a half hours of shading after getting like two hours of or like an hour and a half of line work done or whatever way around it was. Yeah. After about after when I got to like three and a half hours or whatever, I was I was totally done. I was absolutely done at that point. I I did not want to have any more done, but we were so close. Did I go the other way after the hotel? Uh, no, I went through the gate. What, you mean up Nathan Avenue towards the Historical Society? Sounds like a generator, isn't it? No, I can't. I can go back, though. Oh, the car's on. I thought for a minute that was a pipe into the car window. It almost looks like it is. No, I think that's a I think that's a steel pipe in in the radiator. All right, we'll do that first time. All right. You got your new glasses today. They were done really fast. That's really nice when it's uh, that Lude. quick. Do they, are they uh are they better? What's that black speck in the dark there? Is it running okay, by the way? I've left the... <coughs> Sorry. I've left the preview window on. Is that alright? I love the relatively passable holes. Like, don't get me wrong. It's not particularly safe. But I'm pretty sure you, you could risk it. Like, if it was a life or death situation, I'm pretty sure you could make it. Oh, I'm glad for you, that's always nice. Really use a warning next time. Sorry. Jeanette is currently hug like hunting bugs up in the top right corner. She is the... She is Rude. the master bug hunter. Wait, James? It's the wrong way. Yeah, I know. Amon told me to. Have a go- have a word with him if you don't like it. You know, don't complain to me about it. Fucking vandal. Oh, it's big enough. James. Oh. Maria, you might want to get the fuck out of the way. Oh. Fuck off it, Beggies. Hmm, needles. Well worth. <coughs> I'm so sorry about the coughing. I'm, uh, it must be extremely annoying. Alright, uh... Keep going at Nathan Avenue for now. I'm pretty sure this is a dead end in the original game. Eventually. We're here scuttering. Your wife, what was she like? Or is... Sorry, I'm not. That's fine. Why do you ask? Just curious. I'm not sure I want to talk about it. Oh, come on. 
You said we look alike. At least give me something. Well, she, uh... Ugh. She liked to play the piano. I'm not sure if you're really that much alike. Oh? I don't strike you as the pianist type? Let's just leave it. Lewd. Lewd? Glory to the play father, Papa Nurgle. Please bless me. <coughs> uh, anything in that? Nope. At least it's not like with Eileen, where if you keep like running into her... Oh, James won't go into that horrible little hole, don't they? Keep running into her, eventually that actually counts against you. She strikes you as the penis type. She has that way. Fuck, Amazon, you pre-ordered Metaphor and the bastards aren't shipping it to us. Oh, that's so annoying. At that point, I'd, I'd like refund it from Amazon and just get digitally or something. Fuck them. Nine till two? What kind of fucked up business hours are those? So why are we even here? What? Well, why you is James we're here? The wrong way, right? Yeah, man. Yeah, I uh, just bear with me, okay? Whatever you say, big man. Mm, stop him, Maria. <laughs> yeah, we got a letter from our dead wife. So we're coming to check it out. And Silent Hill's a uh, a very cursed place. I've been playing a bit of Metaphor today. I played a lot of the demo, to be fair. It is uh, it is very good. Well worth it. We've got an exclamation mark there. Why? What's that? Here? Uh oh. More of those things. Bugs. Bug. Bug. <laughs> Don't worry. Fixed it. I told you, there's nothing for us here. Let's head back. It's kind of fun just to look around, though, isn't it? Huh. Oh. What is it? Nothing. Just deja vu. Ha! Huh, that's cute. I like this, doing that. It's nice. Where are we? It's still got an exclamation mark there. I wonder what we missed there. That it's telling me I should look at. Hmm. I don't see anything. Oh! oh. Ah! Whoa! Violence will solve this problem. Vomit on, but she seems all right. Another bug around here. No. Bug. 
Nice. Right, what did I actually pick up? A jack lever. Mm, I guess I need up something. Silent Hill 2, I, I think it was Silent Hill 2, if you whack too many gribblers. You think you just saved my life back there? That I did. Yeah. So am I. You want to hear what you say you can load to hear it later? What do you mean load to hear it later? Do you mean if I load a save game and go back there, will it? It will prompt again, will it? Oh, hello. Oh, the bowling alley. Of course, we don't need to come in here yet, though, do we? Uh, you know, uh, you can wait outside if you want. I'll just look around the place. Why would I want to wait outside? I... I thought you might not want to... James, if you don't want me around anymore, you can just say it. No, it, it's not that. I... Just a Jesus, James. Straight thought. Fucking Please. spaghetti in all over the floor. Fucking knees jelly. Absolutely pathetic jelly like spaghetti behavior from James. Get together, dude. Check the pizza. Oh shit. Ha, huh, nice. <sighs> this town's full of monsters. Who could just sit here and eat pizza? Yeah, right? What kind of, you know, crazy murder in person would eat pizza? They changed this bit, yeah. Actually, it's surprising how much of stuff they've like wiggled around. I actually really like it. It's fucking Dante, yeah. Alright. Where else do we want to go? We can't go down the street any further. So right, let's see if we can get to the historical society. I don't know if there's any point yet. My, it's probably shut. I think it, it, in, in the class one, it needed the key, I want to say, but... That's weird. Got a squint and we can get on the other side of the road. Sort out crap, come on, man. It's tempting to shoot these guys with me right here on the side. Yes, Kitty? Hey, um, I'm all for taking the scenic route, but we're not getting any closer to where we want to be, just so you know. This road actually leads out of town. I know, I just... I felt that maybe she could be around here somewhere. Did you now? Hmm. Locked. Yeah, has been for a while. You know what's in there? Not sure. The scariest bit of the game? I'm not even sure when was the last time anyone's been inside. Never been fed, I know. I haven't fed them wet food for a couple of days, so they're getting a bit sad. But they've also been enjoying the cat flap, so they're a bit happy about that, so it's kind of a win-win. Wonder how far down we can go this way? Baby and kid superstore. Oh.
And here's the collapse. Oh, God. Did the monsters get him? Jesus. Maybe. Doesn't make much difference now. I can leave by not leaving. I can only leave by not leaving. That sounds promising. So I heard, actually, uh, Rakuten. You can also join the getting up at 6am and cleaning poop off the floor club. Woohoo! Uh, he's weren't here before. We should leave. I would say this town's cursed, but I think that might be a extremely obvious, uh, obvious point at this point. The crank is something in the parking lot by the park? Oh, nice, okay. So we can just head straight all the way back there, right? Nice. We'll head that back, we'll head back that way. There's more of them. I think we'll try and avoid them if we can. Yikosuke hat? Kiko's cat? I like it. Boog! <laughs> You know, Silent Hill could actually potentially be an okay place if it wasn't for the murderous monsters. Wonder how Tiddy the Tiddy Nurse is in this one, though. We'll have to see, I guess. The Lakeside Amusement Park. Well, that place looks nice. Look, the horses are very friendly. Hope we don't meet evil doppelgangers, though. Yeah, Kalika showed me. There's a mod that makes Silent Hill sunny and removes all the fog, which is really funny. Avoid that friend. Let's avoid both of these friends. Ouch. Wow, it is populated by gribblers. At least there's no wasps, that's what my son will be full of. We're back at the inn, cool. That wasn't too bad a round, a round trip. This is the car park here. Uh, car park's on the side. Nothing safe with you around, huh? Look, look, if you don't want to gather supplies in this scary haunted house town, that's up to you, Maria. Don't judge my violent tendencies. Yes, kitty. If you went down here before triggering the one that, yeah. if you went down here before triggering the one that catches Maria in the inn, you're monster free. Oh really? That's actually quite interesting. So you haven't got to deal with all the gribblers. Ah, I see. Why is that so unnecessarily loud? Um, are you sure that's a good idea? Nope. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Just give me a minute. Hey, you okay in there? Can you let me in? Gunpla? Not for me, but I know that they're very cool. Kiko's got quite a bit, I think. Always looks very impressive. Mass layoff at Brookhaven Hospital threatens the institution's future. So, anything good in here? As good as it gets. I guess we can unlock the way out as well. Anything else in here? 
Ah, lots of supplies in here. Well worth the trip. Well worth the trip. Absolutely loaded. Oh my god. There are boobies. There are lots of boobies. And motorbikes. And coffee. Goodness. I think that's it for now. Nice. Alright, so we've cleared... We've cleared that. Uh, I guess we go back down the way we're going. Yeah, I mean, honestly, that's a lot of decent loot, though. Well worth it. Well worth it. <coughs> Fuck. Big old spooky hole. Bit of, a, bit, of a, bit of a detour, but I like it. It was a good detour. Oops. Gained a lot of ammo and healing items and stuff. Which in a game like this is so important. Hello, Tom Tom. How are you doing? Oh, sorry, I just realised that one of my chat window things is not where it should be. Nope, that's not right. There we go. There we are. Right, so I'm going to continue heading straight down until we get stopped, I think. So we're heading to the bar now. Oh, sure enough. We're heading to the bar, I think, right? That's blocked off. Starting to have a cold? Yeah, you and me both, buddy. Well, I'm in the middle of mine. The worst one I've had in years, actually. I feel fucking lousy. I was, I was complaining to chat earlier. I said, uh... I was actually, I've actually, like, had two days off work. A sick, which I haven't done in fucking years. I feel very bad about it. But I just couldn't work. I was just feeling too lousy. So I did 8 till 9 to get my hand and then stopped. Ooh, can we go under there? Yeah. I love how much detail there is in the town. It's really impressive. Like, I mean, just... Fucking trees alone just look really nice. Like, And you, Tom, I hope you feel better, dude. Oh, this is where we were before, right? With the car. Did we work out how to get around from the other side at the Lakeside Diner, I guess? Oh. Strange. You got soft lot. How? What happened? Can I work from home? I could have done but if I felt better. Be I mean, I did from 8 till 9 this morning. It is. So, what now? Now we look for another way. Ah, oh, there we go. We look for another way, you say? Ah, you get locked out. Ah, okay. Feel all the sirens about to kick, kick off. Oh, nice. Upgrade. Got the pipe. Time to fucking move. Oh dear. Come on, Maria. Time to go. Fuck it off. Fuck off, clown. We do not want to be outside when darkness hits.
Not that I know where the fuck I'm going. Whoa! I think I just looped on myself? Yeah, I did. We're basically a Jedi in Silent Hill now with the Rusty Pipe. Yeah, no one can fuck with us now. Fuck this way? Should get out of here. Anyone close to me? Where am I? Okay. I'm not putting up with any sass from a walking gym. Right. Come on, Maria. Oh. Let's scratch that plan. Whoa! Got them legs. Legs made you jump. I thought Maria decked you. That'd be so funny. Just slaps you on. How dare you bring me here? Well, we made it to heaven tonight, so that's nice. I think maybe it's because growing up with this, but I think the Silent Hill Siren, the particular tone and like wail of it, is one of the scarier bits about the game. I think it's just a very unsettling and nerving sound. Ooh, the cutscenes are stuttering a bit. I'll turn off the preview window just in case it's that. Oh look, the butterfly. Goodness, where did she keep that key? The fabled boob pocket. Why is she being smug about it? Because she's not even sweaty. It's impressive. Nothing survives the boot pocket unsweated. I keep feeling that one of those uh, look through the area sections is not going to resist doing a jump scare. Silent Hills are normally fairly, like, uh, reserved about their jump scares, but it's such an obvious one. Ready to kill it. Twelve. Look, it's a cat! Meow. Yeah. Man flesh. Man flesh. Maria? Hello? Ooh. 
The game's been really generous with its healing items, so either at some point I'm gonna get screwed and get like lots of like none in a row, or I'm doing fairly well. I'm not quite sure which way around it is. Paradise? Nice. James to get a splinter. Maria? Give me that look. I was just kidding. Man, faces in video games are getting so good. They really are. Is this a special place you met? Crazy. Don't be silly. Just have to go through and out the front. Then again, now that we're here. I think she looks like 30s, mid 30s, is what I reckon. I don't think she looks 40. Stay? Just for a little while. Catch our breath before we head back out there. The pre patch Andromeda is amazing. Have time to take a break. Mary could be out there, waiting for me. I know. It's just. This place, this whole thing it's like a nightmare i just wanted to get away from it even for a second i'm sorry I... no it's it's fine uh, sorry I didn't, I didn't mean to i guess this place is getting to me too mom spaghetti full of regretty am i crazy You know, for thinking she could be here. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, James. Crazy is one word for it, I guess. It's Lena from 14. What? The Icelandic lady? What? I can think of another. No. Oh, Lena's so good. No wonder though it's well that? fucking voice acted. Fucking hell. Hopeful. Crazy, I would never have known. Well. Damn. That's a nicer way of putting it. Crazy. One of the best voice actors from Final Fantasy XIV is Maria. That's that's actually really, really cool. What are you doing? Something to take the edge off. I would not drink anything I found in Silent Hill, man. No? You sure? Be that way. Here's to to hope undying. Now you're waiting for Alpha to come through the door. That'd be so funny. Mm. Oh, excuse me. We should probably get going. Fine. Ready when you are. They've really got the whole, like, there's not a single scrap of joy left in his life look down, haven't they? Like, James is utterly, utterly dead inside. Completely, completely dead. Lost and found. The fifth river, old special reserve. The mocap is very good, yeah. Very, very good. Is that you? Would you like it to be? 
Yeah, she is supposed to be a little bit um, manipulative in a way. Or maybe uh, maybe angling towards things he wanted. I don't know, I don't know how the best way to describe it. I don't want to flat out ruin or spoil shit for people who don't haven't seen everything, you know? What's this? Oh, just a save for... Oh, my fucking chat window's gone wonky again. Sorry. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> You're running theories that Silent Hill is not hell, it's a purgatory. A purgatory. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. For those who feel like they might deserve to be punished. I think the town doesn't give- I don't think the town itself is like- My- my takeaway from it, I don't think the town itself decides, per se. I think- I think the individual decides. And depending on the individual's personal personality and psyche, it does different things to them. Hey, Keeks. Let me know when you want to move on. Let's go. All right, then. Come on. Go to the pole? Oh, the pole. Sorry. Oh, a nurse's uniform. Oh, well, a sexy nurse's uniform. gonna dance for me big guy <laughs> I'd pay to see that <laughs> cute I'm not sure if that's a good idea I mean any port in the storm right I guess so Maria jump scares the doors? Fucking hell, Maria, chill out. She just ass blasted those doors at Mac 10. Alright, next stop, uh, Brookhaven, I guess. I want a pole dance mod like the one from uh, The Wolf of Mogus. You know where uh, it's Bigsby doing the pole dancing. <laughs> I always wonder what the explanation for the blocked off bits of town are. Because it almost looks human built, doesn't it? The way it's like sliced off. What's that, Holly? So to get it headed, like get it straight in my head. So the cult summoned the demon in to this town, which was already built on a psychically sort of susceptible okay. area. It's not far now. <laughs> Again. Again. Violence. <laughs> the demon residing within a lesser. Uh, along with her, like, rage and sort of fears and stuff, changed side warping the town in the 70s? 80s? Oh, I know where he's going. Well, what's the zoomies about? Oh, have you been pooping? You got the post poop zoomies? Alright. This same time period, uh, I, I far, but the look of the technology, it's, it's exactly the same as it was, yeah. They definitely summoned a monster in that Harry dispatched, but I don't think that got rid of, like, what happened to the town. Oh, dear. Sorry. Look, we're on the other side of that chasm. Yay. Some detour. But hey, at least we're here. Here meaning where exactly? Come on, we'll find out. Oh, let's have a look around. We going in here? This is it. All 
I did see they're doing the rest of the Tomb Raiders. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. We'll do those. Yeah, they're doing four, five, and six. They're even remastering Angel of Darkness. How hilarious. It's kind of just as well we held off now, isn't it? I don't think we'll ever find out what monster we thought about anything. It would kill the mystery of the other side of horrors. Oh, you mean what? I mean about the god, you mean? That's it? Yeah. A garden? There's a bit more to it than that. If you say so. I don't think I've been here before. I mean, the god monsters are supposed to be unknowable, aren't they? She's just around the corner. She? Oh my god, the ray tracing in the puddles is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. The best thing about the uh, the demon in the first game is that Harry just fucking grunks it with like the um, is it Artifagus? Which it turns into a winged horror, and Harry just goes like, "Nah," and just fucking blasts it. What a king! There's a story told around these parts. Harry gave zero shits. Kind of a local legend. Tells of a woman who was cast out, sentenced to die on an island out on the lake. There was a man in town who fell madly in love with her. <laughs> and every night, he would sneak out, row across the lake, bringing her food and company. Paul seems just the man. I can see and that. Every night, <laughs> She would stand there, on the shore, holding a lit candle. I still think the Silent Hill way. movie is really fun, by the way. I still really like it. The first one, that is. One night, a terrible storm broke out. <laughs> Caught him out in the open, and it blew out the candle. Even in darkness, the man would not give up. He would not turn back. So he fought against the raging waters until finally the lake took him. Oh my god, I can hear fucking... They say even then... I can hear the Icelandic the bunny now. Lost hope. <laughs> I can hear it. She kept coming out at night. Every, every... There's the odd word. Kept there's the odd thing. The candle to bring her beloved home. To lead him to shore. <laughs> the accent occasionally slips. I'm not sure slips. how much truth there is to it. It's probably just a fairy tale. But she's become something of a local saint. A patron of undying love. Hence this place. She's not here. What? She's not here. And why would she be? I don't even remember this place. Sorry, I thought I was going to sneeze. I muted. Yes, Lena. Yeah, yeah. This was a mistake. I shouldn't have come here. Hey. It's okay. There's plenty of other places to look. We can still... Oh, shit. Come on. People to be rescuing. Oh, look at that. Look at the fucking puddle ray tracing. It is absolutely disgusting. Fucking magic technology. Bug! <laughs> oh, sorry. Can. My mistake. Huh. I think it came from inside the theater. This seems very safe. Let's go. Almost been Maria there. Yeah, sorry, Maria. You okay? Yeah. Maybe you better wait here. Okay. Not much of a movie fan anyway. Oh, well, that's it then. And James? Yeah. Be careful in there. Yeah. Didn't see 
Agent 40 a minute ago screamed your head out. <laughs> you should have seen your face. I told you. It was this big rat that jumped right at me from under the seat. You would have screamed too if you saw it. Gutless fatso. Hey. Well, what do you have to say that for? And why are you sitting here? I thought you were I am the monster. Non-existent coming soon. I was here. Artificial sky. The movies in Silent Hill must suck. Yeah, that's true. Probably not the most pleasant experience to go see a movie here. Oh, toilet. Nice. I still think the bathroom scene from Silent Hill 3 is one of the creepiest in the series as well. <laughs> Foreshadowing is alliterated, but yeah. Mmm, more toilets. <laughs> so anyway, I started blasting. What the? Why is this toilet sideways? What's the poop face on the wall? You heard him, stop blasting. Oh, disabled toilets. Oh, really? Oh. No, well, now I seem ignorant and like an asshole. <laughs> Breath still. Cold You're, still. Uh, James. We met back at the apartment building. Yeah. I remember. I see that you didn't make it out yet. Mm, yeah. I just didn't get around to it yet. At least you got your appetite back. Well, I think the implication he's not eating anything, right? Or, I don't know. Are you alone here, Eddie? Or is it all melted ice cream? Okay. Um. No. Well. That's probably just Laura messing around. The little girl? Laura, is that her name? That's what she said. I'm gonna go look for her. You coming? Now you want me to come with you? Never mind. Strawberry food. The implication is pizza delivery in Silent Hill. Well, I mean, you know. Piece of liver everywhere. Oh, thank you. Laura? Man, I hope Maria's not getting mauled by monsters outside. That'd be unfortunate. Do you know, I think Silent Hill is possibly the only place in America where DoorDash might treat its workers even shittier than they already do. What's that? You want a bonus for going through demon-infested hellholes? Not on my watch. Man, look at this projector.
has a pay is for full-time employees, yeah. And you're technically contractors. Pyramid head delivery boy? That'd be so funny. You don't pay, he just spears you. You're yeah, asking the same thing, crap. Hey! <sighs> Daddy's still down there, yeah. It's interesting that you decided to add Eddie's breath like that. That wasn't in the original, was it? I don't recall seeing his breath be cold in any of the cutscenes. Then again, it's been a while. Maybe, I, maybe I'm misremembering. Do you think Eddie sees food in the bucket? Yeah, I do. I do. I think that's why it looks like he's eating sort of nothing, even though we see it as melted or goo. That's where we came in. Laura, stop! It's dangerous! Stupid brat. Maria? Did you see the little girl? Yeah, I tried to stop her, but she went that way. We can still catch her. I think it's supposed to be ice cream around the popcorn. I thought it was popcorn initially. And he wasn't eating anything, and I was like, uh, okay. And I saw it was like goo. Brookhaven. I think Brookhaven's one of the, like, the second scariest place of the game, I'd say. Like, with how, with, which it used to be anyway. Like, with the Silent Hill Society being the, uh, first. James, look. Admitted, reach Brookhaven Hospital. Where's the front door over here? Not too bad. Get food poisoning at the cinema. And like immediately afterwards, go to the hospital. Map of west side of South Vale. Wonder how big Silent Hill itself is? Because then we see, obviously, we've been at. We're in completely different bits of the town at times. It's got to be pretty hefty. <laughs> Shotgun shells. Eat. Is that a gun cabinet? In a hospital? Must be America. Yeah, but it's empty. Somehow that seems worse. What are you all doing? What are you playing with? Oh my shoes. Okay. Oh? No. It's quite bright at the moment. Where did she go? I don't know. Let's look around. Please keep the noise down. You experience poor appetite or significant weight loss, insomnia or hypersomnia, a loss of interest or pleasure in usual activities, feelings of worthlessness or guilt, diminish ability to think to concentrate. Contact your healthcare provider. Huh. I thought he was going to have like a cure-all then. I was like, oh, nice. There. Laura, wait. It's okay. We don't want to hurt you. God damn it. It is interesting the way, though. James is like... Why would she run from us? I don't think she likes me very much. No, I don't think she does. But why? I, uh... I don't know. You're right, Anto. Locked it. 
violence can't fix this. It's interesting, James is so checked out of more or less everything, but he still really, um, still really worries about her. We're in the basement already. You shouldn't be able to lock those doors. Well, some, some hospital bits have door, doors you can lock. Most of our, uh, most of our hospital doesn't have a basement. Oh, we have basements, but it's not for patients, I should say. Like, there's no, there's no, like, wards down there or anything. Because that would be nutty. No power. Did I miss a, a map somewhere? Must have done. Might be a map back where we were. I need to keep an eye out. By the start, yeah. Uh, there we go. Oh, Camilla, yeah, that's it's a bit different, isn't it? Yeah. James is an emotional cripple on Silent Hill is his punishment? Uh, not quite right. I think Silent Hill can... Dr no, that's not quite right. How it Silent Hill can drag people in by proxy, like, and it can drag them into their own uh, or someone else's nightmare as well. So it's not just... Harry essentially was innocent and he got dragged into Alyssa's nightmare. Because of Cheryl. Oh, they're gonna give you some cock and bull torture. Oh, that'd be nice for you. That'll cheer you up. That was the hospital room, wasn't it? Right, so, what? Oh. Spooky. Alright. Time to start exploring. Let's check the reception office and medical records, then, I guess. Unnecessary windy nightmares. It looks like there is a key in there. I we need a combination. No combination, though. No. We should look around. It might be written down somewhere. <laughs> Hard to worry about other things. <laughs> Stop being a torture. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, are you feeling better? It's like, no, but I'm feeling way worse in other ways. Good, it's working. Yay! Could you imagine, you go, you're thinking you're going to like cognitive behavioral therapy, you turn up and there's just a six foot six goth mummy called Hefty Helga, who's here to beat the shit out of you. <laughs> and you're like, I thought I was here for CBT, and she goes, you are. And you're like, well, fair enough. Where do you want me? <laughs> I'm cured, yeah, right. I shouldn't laugh, fuck. That hurts. <coughs> oh, fuck. If you're seeing a six foot golf mummy, it'd be great therapy. <laughs> it's really good. Get your face out of my cup of tea. It's old and you can't drink it. Chew. You menace. Sorry, we're gonna have to take a cat related break. Two seconds. What do you want? They're so quiet when they're on the desk. The second the second they want to go anywhere, by the way, it's fucking wailing. Like, you should hear them at the front door. It's like a cacophony of, like, I don't know, bizarre noises. In it. I love that the always, like, the cats have this, like, little undercarriage, like, flabby bit. It's always really cute. What's this? <laughs> She's like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <coughs> Fuck, sorry. On hard riddle mode, the staff all practice excellent security practice and have notes of cryptic puzzle reminders on their laying around. Much shorter game. That'd be quite funny. Oi! 
That's not the cat. That's my paracetamol. And it's sealed for a reason. Leave it alone. <laughs> Your cat screams, you get a bath for you every second. Yeah, I get that as well. You trying to piss without me? How dare you? But considering Therese fell in the toilet the other day, I think shutting the door is for the best, honestly. <laughs> You're gonna try. You're gonna try to push her to go out into your artwork, because no way you can fiddle your thumbs for six months. Yeah, like it's worth like getting cracking with stuff anyway. And if Hefty Helga's gonna beat the shit out of you anyway, mate, you might as well get cracking now. Because she breaks your thumbs later. Right, I can't see the chat as easily right now, but I can see the game again. So, what's this? Due to repeated instances of keys getting misplaced, from this point forward, they are to be returned to the locker at the end of every shift. All staff are required to memorize the padlock combination, not to disclose it to anyone but authorized personnel under any circumstances. If you have any problems, report to the head nurse in exam room 3. Alright. We know we want to go to exam room 3 then. And in the nurse's office, there's some gun ammo. Makes perfect sense. Remember to wash your hands. Right. Right. This is mine. It's empty. This is also mine. Yep. Where did the other one go? Or is that it? No, this one. See this one here? This one's also mine. Thank you for your contribution. These are going in my pocket. The undercarriage is called a primordial pouch. Is it? Is it? Is that what you call this? <laughs> she reverses when I do that. Flabby kitty. Flabby kitty. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> okay, I'm not allowed to do that. <laughs> That's illegal. I did that. that. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Bring some chamomile tea if you get the chance. Yeah, it's not a bad shot, actually. Um, oh, it's not what I did today, though. I had a very small cup, like, I had a small latte. I had a small latte. That's possibly the best thing I've ever drunk. Fucking just needed that so bad. Oh, you can tell it's getting late in the day because I'm feeling extremely crappy. Alright. The director requires the files of three crucial patents. You know which ones? Could you bring them to his office? Alright. So we're gonna go to exam room three, which is the locked, the locked one. Exam room two is locked. We can go through S one if we get to the other side. Okay, let's try medical records, which is locked. This is suspiciously locked. Why must you clean your asshole on my desk? What's the obsession? You perk up at night, really? I normally sort of have a burst of okay in the morning. Which is why I knew I was feeling extremely poor. What was that noise? You had that as well. What was it? Uh, we got the restroom and the locker rooms to go through. I forget, do the nurses even show up before the, uh, the nighttime swap? I'm not sure they do or not. All doors are locked. Okay. What have we had to check? Uh, we can't go upstairs. Oops. That was unhelpful. That's locked. So we can't go upstairs. Uh, I don't think we've seen any clues to the padlock yet, have we? Uh, is there anything else we haven't checked? Yes, then. Um, I see. Are you good, darling? Are you good? You're gonna hit the mute key as well. Thank you. All 
Right. She's making screenshots of the map. It's very good. I appreciate it. Let's see if we can get to exam room three, or why we can't get to exam room three, I guess. Lewd. No. Ah! What was that? Not sure. Better stay on your guard. Demons. I wonder how they're going to introduce the nurses. They're so infamous. I wrote down for you in a way you should finally be able to remember. Once you're in the lobby, just look around. Now remember, nurses, doctors, trees. Okay. That's our clue then. Nurses, doctors, trees. We've got company. Well, there's two doctors. We've got seven nurses. So it's seven, two, what's the tree? Where's the trees? Ah, seven, two, four. All right, there we go. Seven for Janus, maybe more. Second floor? Imagine. Okay, thanks, Grimsby. Oh, of course. Uh, we will save it here, in case I get binned. I save way too often when I'm playing a horror game for the first time, I think. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I'm doing this with like, my eyes watering as well, which is really fun. This place feels so... Empty. Don't worry, it won't in a minute. More than the other places we've been. Trust me, you'll be wanting it was empty in a minute. In a minute. Once we start getting the spooky nurses. Am I okay? I've got a horrible cold. I'm just feeling a bit crap. I was a smidge worried it was COVID, but I did the test and apparently it came it came back absolutely fine. Ooh, basement map. Oh no, not the boiler rooms. Ooh. This one's open. Nope. Doesn't work. You put your hand through the wall. I saw that. We need a key to get to the boiler room? I would imagine so. This uh, basement has not been well maintained. Huh. Generator. You think you could get it working? You might get the elevator running again. Hmm, things worth a go. More of those things. That's alright, nothing the trusty pipe can't fix. Hey! I wasn't even ready for him, I didn't hit him with dodge. Real. Thank you. Maria, you've got the self-preservation instinct of a fucking waffle. Thank you, James. I'm not sure I would have made it. Just Stay close. Five or six generators of pyramid had chased us around. What was that from? Was that even within that did that? Oh, that's very upsetting. Oh, you're too slow, Leggy. Too slow. Can you get your jump scare game going better? 
Lol. Lolly. Lolly. Yeah. Right, I fixed it. Do you know, we haven't had a new Lemmings game in like years. And that's a fucking crime. Oh, Dead by Daylight. Oh. Oh, right. Duh. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> Can we borrow Ashley's AI files? No, not those ones. The bad ones. The ones where she gets in front of your gun. Oh. Oh. Let me just swig this horror. Oh, nice. Mm. Danger. Extremely flammable. That's video game cue for like everything to come in behind you now. Where are we anyway? We're in the bullet room. Do we want to go down the other end? Is it worth having a look? Yeah, it probably is. Running low. Bleach, white laundry, detergent, starch, white sheets. The amount of bleach you use is getting ridiculous, and the sheets are not getting any whiter. I would ask questions, just end it. Yeah, in here. Okay. Knock it off, Leggy. Sorry. Maria's having a terrible time. James is just like, but for me, it was Tuesday. I think they're gone. Your grandmother had nightmares about lemmings? <sighs> Don't worry. I'll be right back. Better. Here you go, come in. 140, yeah. I'm not shooting a lot of enemies. I'm bopping them a lot. did lemmings and stamps in 2020? Really? That's what Therese sounded like the other night. It was, it was really tragic. <laughs> it was pretty bad. Brookhaven Hospital. Plan of Expand, 1932. Got company outside, I guess. Oh, I even dodged. What an asshole. Big six wig. I've been moving it up. Alright. Is it over? It is for now. You should probably get out of the way. Eat shit legs. Very dark and spoopy. We shall insert the gasoline. I got. A, I feel that that's not a lot of gasoline for a generator this big. I don't know. 
we get like 30 seconds of power out of it. Not feeling the spooks as much. It's definitely a different kind of spooks. I think the cut. Uh, one to our left as well. They're trying to ruse us. Wow. Disgusting. <laughs> Yeah, the fact that it's out of the action it means it does change the dynamic of the way that the game feels. And there's more monsters, so there's less, I think there's less downtime in between, like, crazy shit going on. Which again, changes how it feels. I still think it's doing a pretty good job at the tension, recently. I mean, Silent Hill's never been a, never been like a crazy, like, jump scare sort of arama or anything like that, or any sort of, um, lots of boo. It's always been like this sort of slow, Creepy tension to it, which I've always appreciated. You like to point out the hole at the top of that jerry can and James not tip it up at all, yeah. He didn't pour anything in. I still, I still think it's got some good tension, especially playing it. I don't know what it's obviously like watching it, of course, but I think playing it's definitely got some good old spoops going on. Gone to C5, that's it. She gone. Hey. You okay? I'm sorry. That's fine. What's going on? Are you hurt? It's nothing. Probably just a hangover. Meow. You don't like hangovers, Kitty. Fair uh. enough. Maybe you should rest. I always forget what the implication is. Is it because she's <laughs> she's also ill, like like mm. um, Mary was? I forget. So comfy. Just spitballing a little bit. Here. <laughs> I'm gonna go look for Laura. I'll be back as soon as I can. James. I wanted to ask you. What if you can't find Mary? What will you do? Go for a swim. I haven't really thought about that. Get back soon, okay? I guess we should check out the other rooms quickly before going this way. And James is more comfortable with her. She starts to impress and starts to impress his wife on her. That's exactly when she starts getting sick. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, we'll save it here. Actually, I probably will stop relatively soon because I'm feeling it extremely crappy. But uh, I do want to see if we can get get the introduction of our lovely favorite Boomer nurses. You should be around here somewhere.
I gotta be honest, just just out of sheer oh look at that reflection in that toilet, lovely. Just sheerly on graphics alone, this really is a stunning remake. Like it really looks incredible. I mean, are we technically in the other is this other world yet? It's not, is it? I think the town's just sort of prepping, right? You like it so far? I love it. I'm really enjoying it so far. Rain seems to make it close, yeah. I guess the town starts to turn, right? Ooh. The Luca Palliative Care Center. Take care of what matters most, leave the rest to us. Well, that's nice. Nurse! 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 Excuse me! Don't ignore me. Oh man, they look great. No violence! Oh, Jesus! Oh! Ow! Oh man. Oh god. This lady means Oh god, that lady meant business. She she meant business. Literally legal. How many shots did it take to kill man? Nice miss, James, you know. Oh, she does have stockings on, you're right. They look really good. Creepy. <laughs> she was laying pipe down, she was. Hitting them from behind to get down quicker. Very cool. Alright, I say this is a fantastic place to stop though. Especially as I'm uh, not feeling well enough to do too much more. Oh, that was very cool. No, I'm sorry. We got to see our first nurse though, if that counts. Very fine. Kiko's still streaming. We never get to raid Kiko. Should we try it? I don't know how long he's going to be streaming for. Should we, should we give it a go? You want to hear the Maria House dialogue? Um, can you send it to me on Discord, mate? Would you mind? And I'll have a listen. Kiko's ending? Is he? Is he literally ending right now? I'm gonna raid him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack him. Let's go. Let's attack him. <laughs> 